I want to show you persuasion and what this looks like. Notice the crowd behind him. He was the first American politician to really do this. The first American politician. Now they all do this. He was the first politician, really major politician. When he ran for president, he always had people standing behind him. Literally, it's, it's literally, people have my back. It shows support. It shows support. Even without you knowing anything about what he's saying, when you see this image, you feel, even if it's subconsciously, people must like this guy. At least these people must like this guy. They might not, but, they, but that's what it looks like. This is what we call the art of persuasion. Politicians are some of the best at it. Persuasion is, before I ever open my mouth to say a word, I'm already conveying a message. Now, I'm going I'm to point your attention to something else. Look at what he's wearing. Mm -hmm. so he's not in a suit. We're talking persuasion. What do, what do you think people hear first? The word you say or how you look? How you look. That's persuasion. So he chose, he's not in a red shirt, a pink shirt, a blue, a green shirt, a purple shirt. It's a blue shirt. In America, there's, they call it two types of jobs. White collar jobs and blue collar jobs. He's literally wearing a blue collar. Literally. Let me show you something else. It's slight, but it's big. Look at his sleeves. You see his sleeves are rolled up. That's not an accident. He's showing you, I'm not just the president and a man of great power. I can roll my sleeves up and get things done. Pe yes. People connect with this. I don't want you to think this is an accident. It is never an accident at this level of power for people to wear what they wear, to, to say what they say, to communicate the way they communicate. He is communicating. He's communicating by having the crowd behind him. He's communicating by the, 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 the attire that he wears. He's communicating by the color.